Okay, fifth graders. I actually, you guys, I don't know where you are. Um, I'm not sure what was taught, um, but I thought I'd go ahead and do a review. Also, uh, I never showed back up to go over those uh, problems I gave you in 8-6, and I don't know if you guys solved those or not, but I'm going to go ahead and do them really quick. And then we're going to do uh, something a little more complicated and a lot more fun. Uh, well, I think it's more fun. I think you guys will enjoy it too. You're going to be learning something. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at these uh, these problems from 8-6. They're not in your book. These are ones that I put in the video that I would have pulled sticks for if you guys were there. but um, Or if I had been there, but I wasn't. So anyways, if you guys remember now, um, uh, if, to solve for area... Area equals its length times width. So let's look at this first one here, this number one. Uh, we've got a, a, a length of five feet and two feet. And so it's going to be five times two. So the answer is going to be 10 feet squared. Remember, um, when we're talking about area, we're talking about uh, square feet. Um, in, in this case, it happens to be feet. So uh, sometimes it might be inches, it might be yards, it might be centimeters, could be miles, who knows. Anyway, so the answer to uh, number one is 10 feet uh, squared. I put a little SQ. You could also just uh, use the exponent 10 feet squared and that'd be fine also. Let's look at number two here. Um, number two, it's in fractions. And that's what we've been studying this whole uh, section here, is how to multiply fractions. So what do we have? We have 7 eighths, and that's going to be times 1 half. Don't forget it's going to be yards, and we're talking about area. And so you just multiply straight across. 7 times 1 is 7, and uh, 8 times 2 is 16. That can't be reduced, so the answer to number 2 is 7 sixteenths yards i'll just put a uh, yd squared okay that's the area um, within this uh, figure uh, number three it's also uh, fractions and looks like it's in centimeters so it's three quarter centimeters times one third of a centimeter again multiply straight across three times one is three four times three is twelve that can be reduced how many times does 3 go into 3? Once. How many times does 3 go into 12? Four times. So the answer is 1 quarter centimeters squared. Or you could have written 1 quarter centimeters sq centimeters squared. Either one is fine. Number 4 is a little tricky um, because we need to convert these to an improper fraction so then we can multiply and figure them out and uh, I don't know if you guys did this or not but let's convert uh, three and two-thirds first three and two-thirds and I've briefly shown you this before so three times three is nine plus two is eleven so that's eleven over three so three and two-thirds as an improper fraction is 11 over 3. Now I can prove that to you. Because I can convert this back into a mixed number. How many times does 3 go into 11? It goes in, what, 3 times, right? That's going to be 9. So 9, 10, 11, there's 2 left over, and the denominator stays the same. So I've just converted it back. And I know I've shown you shown you guys that before. So, anyways, um, where was I here? It was three and two thirds, and I needed to convert that into eleven over three, and that's going to be multiplied by two and one quarter. Well, I need to change two and one quarter, that mixed number, into an improper fraction. Well, 4 times uh, 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, 9 over 4. And so I'm going to write 9 over 4 right here. Okay. Now we just multiply straight across. What's 11 times 9? That's 99. 
3 times 4 is 12. Okay, so um, I, I didn't say to reduce it or to convert it into a mixed number, but so if somebody had put 99 over 12 feet squared, I would have been fine with that. Um, but you can convert it back into a mixed number. How many times does 12 go into 99? Well, I don't know. If you don't know your times tables, how about 12 times 8? What do we get there? That's 16, carry the 1. Um, that's 8, it's 96. So it's going to be 8 times, right? Um, and there's 3 left over. 8 and 3 twelfths. And 3 twelfths, that looks familiar. Didn't we just reduce something like that? Um, 8 and 3 twelfths, so that is the same as 8 and 1 quarter feet squared. So 99 over 12, if I did my math right, is the same as 8 and a quarter feet squared. Okay, hopefully I didn't make any mistakes, but you never know. Um, that should be a more teacher problems. I don't know how I ended up erasing all that, but I did. So anyways, um, here's what I want you guys to do. And and um, there's, there's one, two, three, uh, four, five. I think I had seven of them. Six and seven. Yeah, that's it. Okay. But what I want you to find in each one of these figures is the area of a particular color so in i'm looking at number one right here i want you to find the area of the dark blue okay so in other words i'm talking about this area here and i don't want you to include the lighter blue the smaller square okay i just want you to find the area for the dark blue how would you do that now, hopefully you guys are watching this video on the big screen and it's whole class. Um, but even if it's not, pause the video and talk about it. Um, talk about it with your neighbor. How would you figure that out? How would you get the area of just the blue? The dark blue, I should say. Um, yeah, pause the video and you guys talk about it. Now, if you have paused the video and talked about it, hopefully this is what you came up with. First thing you need to do is figure out, and actually it doesn't matter what you do first, but figure out the area um, of this shape, the whole shape. So that's pretty easy here. We've got uh, 12 feet, remember it's length times width, and 10 feet. All right, what's 12 times 10? That's 120 feet squared okay that's the whole area now uh what's the area of this one the smaller square well it's four feet by four feet length times width what's that going to be that's going to be 16 feet squared so what's 120 okay now we're excluding this. We're not counting that. We just want to find the area of the dark blue. So we subtract the smaller area, the lighter blue. So what's 120 subtract 16? That's going to be 104 feet squared. 104 feet squared okay that's how you solve these you figure out the area of the whole figure for like number two here okay and then you figure out the area of the smaller figure within and then you subtract and get the difference all right so for number three here, you figure out the area 
uh, of the whole figure. It's going to be 15 times 10. And then you're going to subtract the area of the smaller figure. All right. So I'm looking for the, the green area only. In this one, just the yellow area. Okay. And then for the brown area, maybe it looks more orange to you, but brown is what I put. And then in this one, the blue area, number five. And for six and seven, the brown area. And I see I've got some mixed numbers here that you're going to have to multiply together. All right. And you'll have to convert those into an improper fraction. And then finally, number seven, the blue area. All right. All right, you guys should have fun with that. Work with one another, help each other out. Um, you should uh, you should know what you're doing. And um, I'll be pulling sticks for these, and we'll see uh, if you can tell me how you solve them. I won't be just looking for the answer um, uh, when I when I return. And hopefully, I'll be back Tuesday. They won't let me come back Monday. Monday. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I won't be back Monday, unfortunately. So, okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys are uh, going to have a great week. I will talk to you later.